Let's do a little breakdown of the games from this past weekend. So we started with WAB, and I was throwing the Masters weight. I kind of came in at 14. It was an easy clearance, although you can see how far back it went. 15 uh, was a different story. Now, I won the competition with a clearance of 14. It stuck in my hand on that first attempt, and CLC went way back. The next two, not pretty. Way vertical. Clearly, I had ample height. Yeah, I was not pleased with the weight. <laughs> and then attempt three. Here we go. Uh, guess what? Pretty much the, uh, yeah, went back a little bit more, but uh, not enough to clear the bar. So this was absolutely hilarious. And I had almost come in at 15. I'm glad I came in at 14. This is part of the thing about, like, sitting for a long time. So we went up to 17 for extras. And there you can see I had a nice clearance. Here's an extra view of it from the crowd. And I was like, man, wouldn't it be funny if I cleared on my first attempt? And lo and behold, and it had to be the shirt, the game shirt. Then we went outside for the sheaf toss. Um, I came in after that performance on the weight over bar. I decided to come in uh, pretty conservatively. I came in at 20 feet. Um, and there I was like, oh, man, if you know, the, the sheaf had been kind of sticking and uh, being kind of funky. So I was afraid I was going to have it slip off of my fork funny. So that's why I moved way over. But easy first attempt clearance at 20 feet. Luckily, I didn't go too far over. Then we went up. We had been going by two foot increments. Um, and I was still so here still in at 22. And I didn't go over quite as far on this one because ee, I learned my lesson on that first throw. I didn't want to risk, uh, you know, being too far over. And you can see the ground is pretty uneven. So I was there making a flat spot for my feet on that attempt. And up and over at 22 with a pretty nice clearance. You can see I, I warmed up at this point. So I was really ready to go. And the crowd was great. Really good local turnout. Um, there were a couple people that ex came out just to see me throw that drew, drove like 90 miles to come and see me throw. Um, okay, so on this one, so I was the only one in after clearing 22 feet. So I was like, yeah, let's make a three foot jump. We went up to 25 feet. So that's where I'm at right here. And again, just taking a couple paces forward and trying to find an even spot. You know, luckily the dirt, again, soft, so I could make it pretty, smooth it out if it was rough anywhere. And up and over at 25. Luckily it snuck right over. And then I said, you know, let's go up two feet to move the barb to 27 and cleared it on the first attempt there. And then I was like, all right, let's go up to 29 feet uh, and just to, just to see what I could do. And I guess technically, um, I could have gone up to another height for extras. This was still part of the main competition. Um, but I wasn't going to move things along, you know, take too much longer there. So you see, I was just under the bar at that one. Um, then here on the second attempt at 29. I gave it my all, you know, I, I cleared 30 feet earlier in the year at the, the first, my first games of the year. So I know I've got it in me to clear a bar 29 at this time of year. <laughs> And that one had the height, but it came down just in front of it. So, you know, it's nice to see that I've got the the, the height, which is like a four-letter word to say you got the height. Um, but it's good to know that I've got the height this early in the year. Um, but I really wasn't, I wasn't stressing too much about how high I actually went on um, this day. So here is my third attempt at 29. And you can see it just peeked behind the bar there. Um, and that was it for sheep. I wasn't going to go for extras. I was good with that. Um, then we went inside on the caber toss. We had three different cabers for our class. Um, I'll be honest, for me, they were all a little bit light. I think the heaviest one that we had was like a 48 pound caber. Um, this one, I think was a 42 pound one. It was like a, I didn't even try the first caber that they had for our class. Um, and everybody, if you qualified on a lighter caber, then you got up to three attempts on the next caber. So here was my first attempt on this. It was like the W two or the W3 caber that the caber rated that they have. Uh, picked it right up. It was like surprisingly light and easy turn, easy 12 o'clock. So then went on to the 48 pound caber. Um, I took a little bit more time with this one. Um, it still was pretty light. I think I came off of this one saying it felt like it was like balsa wood. It was so light, um, but a nice pick and didn't take a lot of steps. Easy turn. I think that was like a 12, 15 on that one. Um, and then the next attempt here, wait for the pick up 
And here we go, take a couple steps. And it was a late pull, but again, it was very really light, so it was easy to turn. That was another 12.15. And then they caught me off guard asking me, I thought I was gonna have three attempts total. And I, you see, I was all geared up, ready to go outside for hammers. And they were like, all right, you wanna take your third attempt? I was like, yeah, let me try to get a 12. And so I made sure I had it really stable and balanced. And I actually think our judge was a little generous to give me a 12 o'clock, but you know what, um, I'll take it. I will take it. We went outside, hammers. I didn't even use tacky. I just stuck with my gloves for hammers, um, my my like football, the cutter gloves. Um, and my throws were like, they were not great. They were like mid fifties. I think 62 might've been, been my best uh, heavy hammer. Um, it was just, it was just cold, 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 cold. And for me, the main reason that I wanted to come out to this game, it was because it was a fundraiser game. You know, we were we raised funds for St. Baldrick's. I've been growing my hair since um, November so that I could uh, have something to shave off for this games. Um, we shaved, uh, I shaved my head after, got it shaved after sheaf toss before we went into the caber. Um, but here we go, another hammer. I, t I paused for a second before I took my throw because I wanted to take my hood off and the hat and see. I don't know that it helped that much. Um, and then we hustled and went on to light hammers. They were like, I think my best was like an 82 on light hammer. Um, but we just wanted to get these things done and over with so we could get inside. There were a couple points during the day where I couldn't feel my toes because it was so cold outside. Um, and like definitely, definitely worthwhile, uh, definitely worth it for a good cause, but it was pretty cold. Luckily, you know, inside here, um, it definitely was a lot warmer. Um, here we are with a uh, Braemar stone. I think our stone was like 13.8 pounds or something like that. And our open was like nine pounds. You can see I'm trying to stamp off some of the, the dirt. This was interesting. I don't know if I've thrown off of a platform exactly like this, like wood, and it, it felt like it kind of was moving around a little bit on the on the dirt floor because it wasn't, like, totally level. Um, but on the whole, like, my, my Braemars were all over 30. My open stones, again, it was like, it was like a nine-pound open stone. So um, I think I went, my best was, like, about 36-something um, on open stone. Um, you can see it definitely got a little bit warmer, even ditched the long sleeve shirt. Here we go on open stone. I always set up my camera. I don't really care if somebody walks in front of my camera. Um, you know, I get extra footage of stuff. Um, I get, I get more than enough to post and whatnot. Um, so there was, there's the open stones. You might've been able to notice the judge, uh, put his foot up where my front foot ended. That's where they pull tape out here with the Rocky Mountain Scottish Athletes Association or Athletics Association, the RMSAA, um, that helped with this. Um, that one, my foot almost came down on top of the toe board. Luckily it stayed on the inside edge. Um, and so it was still a legal throw, but yeah, that, that was, that threw me off a little bit. Yeah. The stone was like almost too round. It was like, <laughs> like not, not round enough, but flat enough round. and not round enough. It was weird. Like, like a really, really round stone, like a shot is great. And if it's got enough of a flat, you know, part to put your hand on, that's great too. Um, but this one was a little funky. Um, so then we moved on to uh, the heavyweight for distance, and I was throwing the 21-pound heavyweight because I was throwing in the master's class. This was not cute. <laughs> Bring my foot way over. Oh, this was a warm-up throw. That's what that was. Uh, so not cute is allowable. And they let us warm up. I wanted to include that one because they let us warm up behind the trig um, because of what the trig was made out of. Like, we weren't going to be tearing up the ground. It wasn't grass. Point out what an excellent save that was. Just the absolute athleticism on that throw. <laughs> Um, one of the funky things about these platforms that we were throwing off of, if you notice, um, there are these little silver or like silver things where the bolts were in the, in the platform, um, given where, like how I set up for the weights for distance, that was, my left foot was, um, right around where those silver bolts were coming through. And so I had a little bit of trouble trying to find exactly the right place, like exactly where I wanted to set up. Um, I do want to point out, I think it was this one. I felt, honestly, that was one of the best positions that I've landed in on the finish on lightweight for distance. Normally, like you can see here, I don't sweep my right leg um, aggressively enough on my second turn. And so my right foot lands too far over to the left and I'm not in the best uh, power position. Um, and here we go, last throw. Yeah, trying to find a good spot with those, those bolts. It was very weird.
um, and way more swings than I'd like, but I was trying to get my head set after getting my feet ready. Last one was actually my last throw. This is a repeat of that. Uh, and I went over 70 on a couple of my lightweight throws, which I was really happy about. And then we had the award for the fundraising at the end, and I really pushed it to try to get as much funds raised as I could. So I was really, really stoked to get this award for the biggest fundraiser.